Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami. I'm the Mysterious JG. Um, <clears throat> I don't think the Majima sensor is really telling me to go into the batting center. But what I'll do is I'll circle around the block. The batting center looks like it can be approached from two directions. I'm curious about that. So let's go around the block behind it once. To see if there's any way that Majima's like kind of creeping around in that alley. I'm looking for any other little like nooks and crannies where the character might be hiding out. See, this is just a little nook that you can go into, but it's not actually truly navigable. And it, the game just gets real excited when I'm in this stretch of road right here. I mean, I'll go ahead and fight these guys, I guess. Is one of those guys called Ald? Somebody had a short name that started with A, and I briefly thought it was Ald. Oh, well, this guy's powering up over here. I better watch out. Okay. Get each your ass. Well, no, he's, he's, he's still like, hey, get your chair. It's the cash corner. No, I mean, I said I was going to go in the batting center, and then I was kind of like, eh, I really didn't feel like that was it, but now I'm... Somebody, some female voice went, ah, and I don't... I didn't cause it myself in any way I'm aware of, so... New York hot dog. Come on, guys, let's all go to the batting center together. All right, so we'll go to the batting center. Welcome. We offer prizes for to get your score. Would you like to take a look at what items we have to offer? Sure. Metal bat, baseball shirt, toughness light, pocket tissues. I guess this is a place you can come to get pocket tissues. I think there's some storyline where we need them. Shin guards, toughness E, leather belt, pocket tissues. Toughness infinity, gentleman's umbrella. The price we offer so good that ruin our profits. Try to maintain a lot of name for the highest score. You're a cosmic here, you right? No way. Why are you alive? I found a phone and you kept calling me on it. Last thing you told me was to kill myself with a dagger. What? What's going on? Guess I got no choice. I'm going to silence you myself. Okay. Mysterious man. See ya. He's a lot more powerful than most of these warriors we've been fighting. So I can't just assume I'm gonna have... Oh, wow. He's doing some real damage. Hmm. 
I'm trying to get something interesting going with the Wapits. But he won't get off my back long enough for me to do it. My seated dropkick. All right, my my deadly grab hold of him and headbutt him finisher took him out. Nice shoes, Kiryu. And not bad shoes, uh, assassin. What kind of monster are you? Spill it. Who sent you after me? I won't tell. I'm no snitch. Are you saying you'd rather die? Because you will. Ugh, all right, fine. I don't have all the details, but I was hired by someone inside the Tojo clan. He never gave me a name, but I know he's one of the officers. You must have some idea why the Tojo clan would be after you, right? Dots. But why would they send someone as incompetent as you after me? I mean, you literally were just calling a random guy on the phone, telling him to stab me with a knife, and the guy got himself killed by muggers, and then I just happened to find the phone. The, 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 that series of bizarre, ridiculous coincidences isn't your fault, but it is your fault that you gave some rando a phone and demanded he murder me. <laughs> but you've got to tell me, where did you get that phone? Uh. I found it on a man who'd been killed by muggers. Guess he was unlucky. <laughs> yeah. So I see. Well, they're not much better off. You mess up in this world, you may as well be dead. Clients probably already figured out how they're going to silence me for good. Dots. Let me buy my freedom a little longer with this. You got Goddess of Children, Amulet. All you have to do is let me go and... Hmm? Mm? <laughs> Don't you let them kill you. You're too tough for that. <laughs> so what are you planning to do, my new best friend? <laughs> I'm just going to run like the wind. I doubt I'll make it very far before I get caught, though. I see. I don't have anything else to benefit you. So if you don't mind, I'd better go. Boy. Hey, you forgot this. Give him the knife. You returned the dead man's cell phone. Right, thanks for that, and good luck. Cool, cool beans. And as you'll see, we should... Yep, we're not being told that we have enough experience because we've gotten all the ones that only cost 10. Okay. We actually uh, got a little hurt there for a change, but uh, we'll grab a nibble later. Oh, for prizes, well, let's not interested. We'll, uh, we really should play for prizes. Wait, am I leaving or am I going into the batting uh, area? Oh, I guess I'm leaving. Oh, well, there's there's there he is anyway, so I guess we better go. Well, I was going to go get something to eat, but I guess, uh, I guess we better use a stamina X. Wait, he was there. He was just there. Don't tell me he left. I went into my menu and he disappeared. There he is. Yo, kill your child, kill your child. Tch, <laughs> Majima son. Haha, <laughs> I don't know what the big rush is, but I don't plan to let you pass by if it's not so much as a word. Alright. He's got a lot of health this time. It's a good place to fight him, though, with all these weapons. He's not as obsessed with breaking up my weapons shots as that last guy was. I think he finds it interesting when I get to do cool shit like weapons attacks. Oh, fuck. I mean, this won't be enough to finish him, but I don't need him healing up either. Oh, 
Come on, get over here. There we go. This is a good killing blow from Jima. We took almost no damage from him. I'm not sure that I needed to take that uh, stamina light, but uh, better safe than sorry. Yeah, you're pretty tough. Ah, whatever, the same dialogue as before. See you around. How much experience we get for that? I mean, we're gradually building our rank up. I think we needed to get to S uh, before we've fully powered up uh a Kiryu chan Kiryu chan is not fully powered up unless he knows all of the dragon of Tajima techniques and he can never otherwise be a fully powered up Kiryu chan All right so let's see want to hit this place because we're supposed to go here before we do too too much with uh now that's yeah here's where we're trying to go to we're trying to get the scoop on cabaret clubs then we can start messing around with cabaret clubs which are totally optional content but i think we do want to do a little bit with it sorry guys oh i guess i pissed you off oh Okay. It's got off to a bad start here. Because I thought I was heading into this business and got drawn into that instead. Now, uh, I've spent a little time in Tokyo. I didn't deal with cabaret clubs, but I will tell you, these thing, these places where you just go in and like, they have all these pictures and adverts for girls. This is real, and it kind of weirded me out a little bit. When it comes to the city's nightlife, leave it to me. I'll show you all the best spots. Tell me about Shine. Tell me about Shine. Shine is a cabaret club on Pink Street. Lots of joints down there tend to overcharge, but you don't have to worry about that with Shine. All the girls there are fantastic. I especially recommend meeting with Rina chan Do you want me to take you there? No thanks. Sorry, not right now. Oh, really? Please come back when you're interested. Tell me about Jewel. Tell me about Jewel. From here, head east on uh, Shichifuku Street, and you'll get the Fuku of a lifetime at Jewel. You'll find Jewel on the left-hand side. It's a pretty classy place, and I'd highly recommend it. Jewel makes it a point to hire only the most beautiful women this city has to offer. If you're a first-timer, my recommendation is to ask for Yui-chan. Would you like me to take it there? No. Oh, really? Please come back when you're interested. Maybe some kind of femme. <laughs> so, there is a quest at Asia. But he's talking about Jewel. And uh, I don't remember the name of the other one. But apparently it's not, uh, it's not the one where we have a quest. Because they made a point of mentioning that at that place, they're currently having a little bit of trouble... Uh, they got a girl that they, they can't get any clients for. So Shine and uh, Jewel. Well, let's let's go to Jewel and let's have him walk us to Jewel, even though it's like right outside. And we'll we'll do our first cabaret experience. It's a complete waste of time as far as they can make out. It's just like side content. There's facts on how to do it most efficiently. I uh, let's just spend the last few minutes. Uh, you know what? No, hold on, hold on. Just in case I end up thinking we really wasted a lot of time or money doing this wrong. Being paranoid. We'll throw it on a save. We'll do our first cabaret club visit here. And we'll see what happens. Remember right now, the plot is that uh, a bunch of people are trying to kill us. 
and we're we're desperately searching for the woman that we were in love with who we haven't seen for 10 years her daughter is in extreme danger we're gonna go visit the cabaret club so jewel Yes, please. Presumably this guy gets paid. Yes, please. Oh, great. I'll lead, you the, way. I'll lead the way, so follow me, please. Uh, I was hoping we'd get press and hold R1 to follow him as he slowly walks there. Here we are. Yui-chan is a really sweet girl, so you should have a very nice time. She's a real sweetheart of manipulating your emotions, so you will pay her money. Hello, sir. Welcome to... It's Stuart. Hello, sir. Welcome to Jewel. I am Stuart. I'm Scottish. Our prices start at 8,400 yen for the night, plus a service fee of 3,150 yen. If you would like to request a particular girl, that'll be an additional 3,150 yen. Would you be interested, sir? Yes. We have a table open. Please follow me. Hello. I guess we didn't request her. She just showed up. Yui it's nice to meet you. I'm Yui. Right, here's my business card, heart. Receive Yui's business card. May I ask what your name is? Kiryu, I'm Kazuma Kiryu, or Kiryu Kazuma, depending on whether it's written or spoken. Uh -huh. Kiryu-san, is it? It's nice to meet you. Uh -huh. But I'd prefer if you called me Kiryu-chan. <laughs> that's, that's what I get off of. What would you like to drink? Uh, shochu is free. I feel like the more you spend, the more they like generally. Uh, but yeah, we can get we can go bankrupt pretty quick in this mode, and I'm really not sure what it's for. So mid-range champagne would probably be fine, I guess. I want this. Oh, really? That makes me happy. 300 experience points for that. <laughs> Cheers, let's enjoy the evening. This, it might be worth, I'm going to keep playing this mode, it might be worth at least knowing what everyone's favorite drink is, because I don't think that'll change dialogue, it'll just be more efficient. Kiryu-san, did you have work today? Yeah. No. Actually, not really working right now, so I guess I did have the day off. Oh, really? Did you quit your job? I finished my term. I was in prison. I was just I'm just unemployed. Let's be straight with her. I was in prison. <laughs> I was in prison. No way. Seriously? Yeah, dead serious. What? So tell me, what did you do? She likes that we were in prison. Uh, isn't this the part where you change the subject before it gets more awkward? But you're the one who brought it up! I assumed you wanted me to ask. It's a secret to everyone. <laughs> Take this, and then he punches her. Aha! It's gotta be something embarrassing! Like groping a girl or stealing her underwear! Ugh. Yeah, but if that's the case, I can drink in peace with you. Because I want to be groped and have my underwear stolen. What is that? Because if you aren't working, you wouldn't order a lot of expensive drinks. We can enjoy each other's company without worrying about money. Oh, that's nice. It's an interesting outlook for a hostess. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it make you happier if the customer ordered more? That's true, but sometimes the more they order, the more promises it cr problems it creates. What do you mean? You mean like they get drunk and start being assholes? I guess that's a thing. Well, customers order expensive drinks expect more from me. I'm fine with going out with guys after hours, but they always want more than that. Uh -huh. I'm, she's here to be a pretty face that you can enjoy having a drink with. You don't get to get any handsier than that. I see. So that's what you meant. Other girls would laugh it off and then keep making them order more expensive drinks. I always wonder how they don't feel guilty. Well, how do you not feel guilty? You're doing the same job. She's the uh, hostess with the heart of gold and 
Also, a judgmental attitude towards other hostesses. But if you meet a guy on and then reject him, it'll cause even bigger problems in the future, don't you think? Yep. Especially if they're a violent murderer like us. That's why when I first meet a customer, I always say, no matter how much you spend, I am not falling in love. You should go out with them, at least you're honest. Yeah, you gotta give her credit for being honest. At least you're honest. But it's true that a lot of guys think they can go out with a girl, as long as they throw around a lot of cash. Right! Although I might partially be the hostess's fault for knowing all that and flirting with them anyway. Oh, this is a really a, this is a really deep analysis of the whole hostess phenomenon. I'm not going to go that far just to raise my rank. So that means I don't have to spend a lot of money here, eh? I guess I can order whatever I want. <laughs> go right ahead. Enjoying a drink without worrying about the bill is the best. <laughs> yeah, I'll drink to that. Uh, don't do anything. Oh yeah, let's order something else. What should we do? Order something? I'm a little hungry. What would you like to order? Fruit platter. Dried raffin. Chocolate sticks, pasta sticks. I think takoyaki would be my call here. And all this stuff is cheap compared to the drinks, but I guess that's how they do it. But she told us not to worry about it, just get what we want. So I'm trusting her, even though I'm sure there's a fact that tells you exactly how many points you get for each item. Okay, hi. 50 experience points. I've been thinking I should take a class. <laughs> I want to study to become a professional whore. No. I want to take a class. I'd like to become a veterinary assistant. <laughs> or perhaps get into TV VCR repair. Medical instruction and billing. Oh, I see. Why go back to school all of a sudden? Well, you don't know her, Kiryu. <laughs> I've been watching my co-workers, and the ones who keep a day job seem to carry better conversations with their customers. Also, they're incredibly tired all the time because they never get to rest. When I think about it, my only experience is at cabaret clubs, so outside of that I only know what the customers tell me. My conversations don't go as deep. Well, I mean, you could get like a liberal arts degree, then you could have a really interesting conversations and continue to rely on cabaret clubs it's your only means of support for the rest of your life. The more experience you have in life, the more of it you can draw from to talk about. Yeah, she, her dialogue seems to be fully voice acted. It's Kiryu who goes, hmm, and then three sentences of material appear. But wouldn't it be a lot of work to get a job just for some extra material? Exactly. That's why I thought if I took a class, I could go on my own place. Even if I quit, it won't trouble anyone. That's not completely illogical. Well, then, you've already thought this through. Do you know what class you're going to take? Also, why are you bothering me with this? I mean, aren't cabaret clubs like the modern-day equivalent of the traditional geisha? Aren't you supposed to be trained in the arts of conversation and spend a lot of your time asking me questions to make me feel interesting? <laughs> you're talking a lot about yourself for somebody who's like, I'm not going to fall in love with you. We're not getting too close. Anyway, here's my life story. Actually, I'm stuck on that. I looked up some class, but there are so many options. If you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them. Well, I mean, a cooking class, dance lessons, or martial arts. Like, none of those are what I would offer. I would have suggested, uh, if she just wants to be more interesting, I would have thrown out, like, history or art. Uh, martial arts doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know, let's say cooking class. It sounds sexist, but I just, for some reason, I'm, I don't remember watching Lethal play through this. I know there are facts out there. I have this notion that she's going to go, oh, and hearts will appear when you say cooking class, and she'll, like, I, I, this is not a real person here. This is some kind of stereotype character from a Japanese dating sim game. I'm just throwing out cooking class. I've got this, I just have a feeling. It seems like she would either love that answer or hate it, though. 
How about a cooking class? That's a common class, and I've considered it. But we're talking about cooking interests, my guess, here at the club? I guess not. I've failed. Some men actually cook nowadays. I'm sure they could use some tips from someone who studied the art. Besides, the fastest way to a man's heart will always be through his stomach. But I'm trying not to f I'm not trying to fall in love here. Learning to cook is never a waste. Really? Then I'll think about it. Thanks for the tip. Hey, we got into the, uh, we might have moved out of the friend zone here. No problem. I should keep talking. Well, we could give her a present. Oh, I need to have it in my inventory. I've got stuff in my uh, storage that would be good presents, but I don't know if, like, <laughs> I'd like to give you a toughness emperor. Um, what should I do? Order something. Oh, I was, I was thinking it would be something for both of us. I was thinking it would be another drink. I guess the drink you just pay for up front once. That would explain why it's so expensive, and these are not. Gorgeous platter of fresh fruit. Let's have uh, ice cream dessert. Whoever tries to cool down, if the ladies you have you hot and bothered. Yeah, let's have ice cream dessert with her. Because I'm, I'm suggesting we both eat this, but apparently she's just watching us eat and talking to us. Okay. 50 more experience. So my sister, she wants to have plastic surgery, and it's caused a bit of a problem. Really, she, she, I guess, it, it, maybe it makes sense. We told her we went to prison, and we won't tell her why, and she did stop asking about us and start talking about herself. Maybe her, her maybe this is actually a very logical approach. Oh, oh. Plastic surgery, as in changing your face? <laughs> why on earth would she need to do a new identity? Well, she used to be John Travolta, and she was evil, and, um, uh, I'm blanking on his name, and Nicolas Cage, who's a cop, was chasing her, so now she wants to take on Nicolas Cage's cop uh, face so she can continue to do crimes, while Nicolas Cage, as a cop, will now look like John Travolta. <laughs> I, might, I, I forget who was evil at the beginning and who, was, and who swapped faces, but... <laughs> um, Kiryu-san, I think you've got it wrong. She just wants to nip and tuck a few things, like changing her monolid to a case lid. I don't even know what that means. I, would, I wouldn't have jumped to face, though. It could have been that she wants to, like, you know, change her boobs. Huh? I know some girls take it even further and shave some bone from their cheeks or their chins, but my sister isn't going to that extent. Well, back in the old days, girls just wore too much makeup. So how is this causing a problem? Oh, right. Our parents found out about her plans, and they are insisting that they won't allow any plastic surgery. They found out because I betrayed her. <laughs> and now they're telling me to convince her not to do it. They dragged me into it, but... You should both do it. It's your sister's choice. Your parents are right. And well, I don't think you should both do it is a good idea. <laughs> I'm assuming that's not what we want to say. It's pretty obvious that she thinks it's her sister's choice. So I guess we will say that. It's your sister's body and her choice. She's an adult now. I mean, she's not trying to get an abortion, is she? Because if she is, it's between her, her doctor, and her state government. <laughs> she can take responsibility for her own actions. You're amazing, Kiryu-san. You didn't even need to order that ice cream. We're already maxed out. You really understand? I think people are too sensitive to the words plastic surgery. A little fix up here and there can't do any harm, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, you, uh, you see some older women. Yeah, sometimes. I guess it would be a different story if she said she wanted to get a tattoo, but it's just her eyelids. Wait, what? Why would. Like, tattoos are immoral, but plastic surgery is fine. I don't think it's worth making a big deal about. Yeah, I would definitely be against her getting a tattoo. They say you wouldn't be able to go to pools or hot springs. She should get a... Uh, yeah, I, I hate tattoos, by the way. Let's not have me ever show you my uh, naked back. Tell me about it. It's a real pain. Huh? Did you say something? I hadn't given you a prompt to answer a question yet. Why are you talking? Nope. Because he's got a giant dragon tattoo. Your time is almost up, say. I've had enough to drink. Yeah. I'm ready to leave. Oh, we didn't ask her out. 
Understood, sir. I thought we'd get a chance at the end to ask her out. We max everything out. Here is your check, sir. Thank you very much. Kiryu san, please come again soon. <laughs> I like you. I'll kill you last. I'll request you from now on. Really? Then I'll be waiting. Oh, wow. This is going to involve a lot more time than I thought. Okay. I'm throwing it out there right now. In the comments, you tell me. Because this, this is a game all about uh, like side content and silliness and just exploring this little... It's a small map compared to Like a Dragon. Uh, because this is like a PS2 era game, I think. Like a drag, you know, it's uh, it's a remake of an older game. So it's a pretty small open world. But it's all about exploring the little nooks and crannies of this open world and, and having fun with it and not getting too worked up about the main story, even though the main story... The whole Yakuza series, I, I, I'm, I'm explaining this like no one's ever noticed it before, but for me, it's all about the massive... Um, and this is, I think it's intentional... And I think it's it's fun. I think the people who made this game have a, have a big sense of game fun. It's not like they're just don't know what the hell they're doing. But there is this, I think, by design, massive um, difference between the tone and the seriousness of the side content adventures you can get into and the heavy-duty drama in the main story. So, like, the, the main game story are inspired by, like, Japanese crime dramas. And the side content is just, like, goofy fun shit to do in a video game. And again, I think it's an intentional choice, and I actually really like the, the juxtaposition. But it also means, even in Like a Dragon, I, I came pretty close to 100%ing that game, in a sense. But there was stuff I didn't do, or I, I, sh I tried once and didn't bother with. Shogi was obviously one. So, you guys let me know. I've got Yakuza Kiwami 2 already. And I had intended to pick up the uh, the collection, which is Yakuza 3, 4, and 5. Uh, I don't know if Yakuza 6 and Yakuza 0... Uh, like, I don't know if I'm going to play every single Yakuza game. But there comes a point where it's like, well, do I want to do a full 100% see all the content of Yakuza Kiwami and Yakuza Kiwami 2 if that would take the same time as doing three quarters of the content of Yakuza 1, 2, and 3. Like, you know, there comes a point where you're like, if you do the main story and some of the more interesting, so like all the side stories, but you don't necessarily do all of the side games to their fullest extent, you would probably, like the, the big one in um, Like a Dragon, I did a ton of this off screen, some of it while sick, I think was the uh the business management mini game because it was repetitive but it was entertaining and it, it led to big in game like you break the economy of the game you never run out of money in the main game if you play the business side game all the way through uh so so what am i getting at and I, I don't have a ton of people watching this i don't have a ton of people leaving feedback and i am getting ahead i don't think i'm going to jump straight back into this aspect of the game because um there's plenty of time to do this later, and there's more There's more than one girl that you can do these dates with. So I kind of want you guys... I'm going to read into what the in-game's reward, rewards are. Let me know how much time you want to spend on this. Because, like, we can get the maximum affection meter with this girl, and I'm almost positive that when we play Yakuza Kiwami 2 eventually, she will not appear in the game. <laughs> so... I already even know, and this is this is one that really strange is, uh, weirds me out. There is a a mechanic later where we can go on. Um, I don't want to say dates, but like we can go out and do. Well, I mean, they're dates. They're they're non romantic, non sexual dates. They're play dates with uh, the little girl. Um, and like her trust and affection. They have a little trust and affection meter for her that can go up. But I'm almost positive that it doesn't do anything. Like there's no in game effect of maxing it out. It's just a thing, and the game gives you a way to track it to make you feel like a, a gamer. Um, Grand Theft Auto V has a mechanic where you can go out and, and, and hang out in non-mission environments with a couple of the NPCs. But it's really just there for people who want to see all the dialogue. And you can ignore it. And it's probably much the same in this game, except, I don't know. I, I'm beating around the bush, but what I'm getting at is, hey... That was kind of amusing. I don't know how much more of it we need to do. 
let me know what you think. Uh, I will not just do whatever you guys say, not necessarily, but it'll give me some things to consider while trying to decide, do we want to spend more time on this? We will be doing at least one more cabaret date, I guarantee you, but that one's a little different. Anyway, I'm Mysterious JG. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time. We may get back to the main story, or we may just be going around searching for Majima-san. <laughs>